Hi guys, do you come from a classical music tradition and you want to study boogie woogie? Rhetorical question, but camera person, would you like to answer that question? I don't, I don't really think so. I used to play the recorder. Yes. So does that count as classical music? I think it probably does, because I know that a lot of people who come to this channel uh, do come from a classical music tradition in the sense that you're taking normal piano lessons from your local teacher and I always think that's a great way to start. I know many of the great boogie players I've met have taught themselves, but nevertheless I think having uh, the rudiments of theory and musical knowledge is always of benefit. And I've got here, if you come over here camera person, I've got on the piano the old trusty J.S. Bach 48 Preludes and Fugues, which one person has likened to the Old Testament of classical music, the New Testament of classical music being... The Badass Boogie Bundles? <laughs> the Badass Boogie <laughs> <laughs> well done, camera person. Being the Beethoven sonatas, you know, the, in other words, these are the two pillars of classical music when it comes to piano, uh, Bach's Preludes and Fugues and Beethoven sonatas. And I'm bringing up uh, Bach because if you type in to YouTube Jules Holland St. Pancras Station Boogie Woogie, Jules Holland St. Pancras Station Boogie Woogie, Jules Holland was down, I think, a few months ago at the Elton John piano where we did a few public videos. Did you see those videos, uh, camera person? I did. Indeed. With Jules Holland, and good. what I noticed, if you want to check it out, it's on YouTube. Um, if you can, if you see them, what I noticed is that when Jules Holland was doing, the, I think he was doing the Bumble Boogie. You know the Bumble Boogie. I think it was, and in the middle of it, he went into a bit of Johann Sebastian Bach in the middle of the bum, Bumble Boogie. And if you come over here, camera person, I thought this would be a great tune for everybody to know. It's a very, very basic piece, and I think I'm just going to read. Um, See if you can sight read it, camera person, and I'm playing it. I won't play all of it, but uh, the reason I'm doing this is because Jules Holland actually places this classical piece in the middle of the Bumble Boogie, and it goes like this. If you can follow it, one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. And, I mean, I won't play the whole piece, but if you listen to that, I thought it was a really great, interesting way of mixing genres because, you know, boogie-woogie and classical music don't go together. So, if you listen to that video, you hear... into it but it's a very interesting combination of the two music and I think it works and while we're talking about Bach I always come here camera person and if you come over to the right hand side it might be easier uh, the second prelude and fugue in C minor this is a great exercise for playing hands together now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play the right hand for you because you've probably heard me play this before <laughs> even know him. I'm just going to play those four bars. Speeding up a bit. And if you play it with the left hand, I'm just going to concentrate on these four bars, otherwise we'll be here for about uh, 50 minutes doing the whole piece. But if we do those four bars, I want you to see how, even just looking at the music, if you can't read it, can you see how every note in the treble clef and the bass clef are, is matched? Can you see that? And so for hands together, this is a really perfect exercise because every note is matched in each hand, if you see what I mean. So if I play these four bars together, it sounds like this. Um, just follow the music camera person. Now with those four bars you can even, if you want, you can even uh, put a bit of boogie woogie in the left hand and you could make a great exercise for example if you do the Albert Ammons left hand and this one. Let's do a straight rhythm. When I pull the bark in the right hand, follow the music. One, two, three, four. Now I'll just do.
do that one more. You could even just put the chop in the left hand if you can't do that. You could go. And then just back to the normal. so forth and so forth. So what I want to impress upon you is that if you do come from a classical music tradition and you do, you can read the dots, you can take classical music and use it as part of your boogie woogie studies. There doesn't have to be this divide between classical music and boogie woogie. I mean we've seen here in a creative way how we can use the first period and fugue. And by the way in case just so you know what the piece is if you come in here camera person just so everybody knows that this is Johann Sebastian Bach's 48 Preludes and Fugues and this is book one okay because there's two books there's two books and this is book one and the one I the two pieces we did today was first of all Prelude one which is the one that Jules Holland uses in the Bumble Boogie which I hope you're going to look at after this video the Bumble Boogie at St Pancras station where Jules puts in the Johann Sebastian Mark in the middle of the Bumble Boogie and the second one is Prelude and Fugue in C minor and that is the one where we played it hands together and we actually put quite a nice rock and roll boogie bass in as well um, uh, like you to do is to, if you don't know how to read sheet music and you're learning Boogie Woogie, I really always encourage everyone, you know, as part of the philosophy of this channel, is to go out and learn how to play, read, uh, read the dots, because it will only do you good if you can learn how to play the sheet music, and of course you can get all the sheet music on our website if you click that link there, all the badass boogie bundles which contain all the transcriptions and all the books I've written about Boogie Woogie downloadable uh, when you click on that link. So as always, click that like button brush off your Johann Sebastian Bach, listen to the Jules Holland Bumble Boogie at St Pancras on YouTube and see if you can spot him playing Bach in the middle of it. And I will talk to you very soon. soon.